If you are new to My Tennis HQ, we do tennis lessons, racket reviews, practices with pro players, and tennis content you won't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. All right, guys. So we're here with top 100 player, Marcos Giron, who just played Rafa Nadal in 30 seconds. How was that? Well, it was an amazing experience. Uh, <laughs> the first, uh, well, I wish I would have liked to. I would have loved to have played him, but uh, maybe a little later in the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's tough. Playing Rafa first round is always tough. Uh, but, you know, great experience. Before these guys retire, I think that was, that was cool. Yeah. Uh, but we're here to talk about timing. Uh, I think a lot of people think that, you know, pros like him or like, you know, top players don't lose timing, don't feel like they're not hitting the ball well. And it happens a lot, right? Like you're just not every week you're just feeling the ball perfectly. Um, but Marcos is here has a little tip uh, that might help you guys bring back the timing. Uh, so we're going to work on that uh, right now. He's going to tell us and then we're going to do a little demonstration. Yeah, so one of the tips that I have is that every now and again, of course, no, nobody feels the ball great every day. And so the, the simple tip for timing is that, that when I'm not feeling well, to hit the ball at its peak. And so I think it's, a, it's an easy way, it's an easy cue to, to get you to move towards the ball. Yeah. Uh, many times uh, you, like, when you're not feeling well, it's due to footwork. It's not being in the right position. Yeah. And it's waiting for the ball or the ball is just on your feet and you're, and you're short hopping it. So it's an easy way when the ball is short that you actually move up to it. Or if the ball is deep, you, yeah, sometimes you'll take it on, but it, you give up a little bit of ground to give yourself a better chance to hit a good shot. And yeah. so it's just an easy cue to get the, get the, get the mind and the feet in sync. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, I had something to say. Okay. It's also, and, and also it's a good way to create good body transfer into yes. the shot because you're always moving towards the ball. Yeah, I think when, whenever we kind of feel like our timing is bad, we kind of get scared of the ball and start like first step starts going backwards and you're just, you're not really like putting your body into it. So this is a good tip. We're just gonna hit some balls now and I'm gonna mic up and Marcos is gonna go through a little bit of process and we'll go from there. I, th I think another aspect of it is it, it, it's good to create proactivity. Yeah. I think when we play bad, we're, all, we're, we're many times very reactive to how the ball plays and it creates a, the right mindset of moving towards it and be proactive and, and you know, hurt the opponent versus yeah. play based on their tempo. Awesome, all right, let's go hit some balls. Hey guys, Karu here on court as always. I'm always on court. And because of that, I watch a lot of amateurs play tennis and I see a lot of their mistakes, common mistakes that happen all the time. So I created a free tennis guide showing those mistakes and how to fix them really quickly. All you have to do is go to top3mistakes.com and download your free guide so you can start fixing your ground strokes and all your mistakes and start playing some better tennis. And now let's go to the lesson. Nah, dude, it's crazy with Rafa. He just it's not the velocity of shot that affects you. He actually plays short, but it but but makes it very hard to play in the strike zone. And he gets you off the court and he's so quick once you hit a sh a ball that's not good, he's able to take advantage. It's crazy. Oh. Eh. 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 So here at the beginning of the practice, I'm making sure to uh, keep my feet going, to get my feet going. Um, a big part of it is, is the eyes. Getting the eyes, tracking the ball quickly and well. And, uh, and so this is early on, I actually, um, I actually do try to do my best getting the, hitting the ball at its peak. And especially on the, especially on the short balls. And in, in a game of uh, in tennis, like time is so important that any, any small opportunity that you can get to get ahead of the point and put time pressure on the opponent is, uh, is, is valuable. And actually playing Rafa, that's something that, oh, that shot I did not move up to. Um, that's something that really impressed me with how fast he actually took advantage of short balls. Yeah, he starts the points from deep, way back, but then he will, once he hits a good ball and sees that you hit a short one, He's incredibly quick to, to recognize and to move up in the court and take advantage. Here, boom, on top of the ball, on top of the bounce. Ah, oh, I know, top of the bounce. And boom, oh, uh, didn't move up to it, but there, it's a good penetrating ball. Good penetrating ball. 
And also another thing that's good about it is that, um, is that it, when the ball's up, it kind of creates the mindset to really take over the point and hit a good penetrating big shot. Um, I think many players are so concerned about rotation, but when the ball is up, when the ball's high, you don't want to necessarily hit with too much rotation. Otherwise, if you hit a, a shit ball, if you hit a spinny ball that doesn't have good direction, is not deep, it's actually easier to attack on. Boom. Uh, uh. Ah, oh wow, that was just bad timing. <laughs> oh no, that was just a dead ball. <laughs> like that. If I had just waited back at it, it would have actually been a really hard shot to hit. But because I moved up to it, being proactive, I was able to hit a good shot. Of course, we're not playing points here, but it gets you in the right mindset. And of course, not every time are you gonna be able to hit the ball at its peak, but it's, it's getting the mindset to be proactive with your feet and really recognizing the ball early. And just going off of what Marcus says, just to finish up here, like again, looking for that peak, I think a good way for you to continue to find that peak so really pay attention to the ball bouncing. Watch it bounce so you can really pay attention to when it's going to peak. I had a coach that used to tell me that, like pay, pay attention to the bounce. Watch the ball bounce and then boom, you can move forward. You see, bounce, boom, bounce, boom. I can take it on the rise, you see? So the more you can look for that bounce, the better it will be. Bounce, boom. See, now I'm putting my entire body through it. And that's how, sorry, no balls. So again, looking for the peak of the ball, watching the bounce. The idea is for your feet to get there, right? We, we often just get there with our rackets and we just extend, but we wanna get there with our feet because we wanna be in perfect position when we're hitting the ball, okay? Very quick tip, tip here from top 100 player to help you with your timing and maybe hit the ball like us. Oh yeah. Oh, ball. Accelerate. Oh, eh. My bad. Oh, eh. Oh, eh. Oh, peak. Boom. <laughs>